Okay, let's take a look at another example. We have 2n squared plus 3n minus 9. Again, a is 2, b is 3, and c is negative 9. Setting up the x and the box. Remembering that our first term always goes in the upper left, our bottom term goes in the right. The top of the x is the product of a and c, which is negative 18, and the bottom is 3. So what two numbers multiply to get you negative 18 that if you subtracted would get you to positive 3? That would be 6 and negative 3. Again, I put the 2n and the n, and now I need to figure out where these numbers will go. Well, 2 cannot get me to negative 3, so I'm going to put the 6 here and the negative 3 there. 2 times 3 will get me to the 6, and n minus 3 will get me to the negative 3n. Therefore, we have 2n minus 3, n plus 3. And you can factor, you can FOIL these to check to see if your answer is correct. 2n times n is 2n squared. This is 6n minus 3n, which gets you to 3n, and that's negative 9. So this matches up with 2n squared plus 3n minus 9.